It takes a village to shape a life, even if that life is a plant. And that's where I come in. <laughs> I'm Dawn, I'm the plant nanny. Good morning! Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Being a nanny for plants is unconventional for some, but for me, it's natural. Okay, who needs some encouragement? I don't have the same maternal instincts for flesh babies that I do for saplings. You got, oh. I'm barren. There's nothing but tumbleweeds and dry earth down there. So my bond with cacti and succulents is impregnable. <laughs> I've dedicated my life to nurturing these beauties and educating the masses on how to care for the earth so the plants can continue to grow freely and naturally. Earth Day is my busiest and most stressful day of the year. Everyone pays extra attention to plants on Earth Day, but then they drop off the rest of the year. So I teach people year-long care techniques to care for the plants and the earth. Who left this shrub unattended? When it comes to the age-old debate of nature versus nurture, I believe in nature nurture. I'm a board certified nanny, so I'll keep your plants on a schedule that's filled with playtime, nourishment, and love. And he needed to grow. So what do we do? We give him lots and lots of water. The plant will begin to grow and grow. I prefer the regurgitation method because it fosters a soil to saliva bond. It's the equivalent of skin to skin contact with a human baby. Throughout the work week, I'm able to monitor their humidity levels, their growth, and my personal favorite, tucking them in at nap time with a song. T-Pain's Tiny Desk Concert is a real crowd pleaser. I'm sprung, dog you got me, got me doing things I never do. I'm sprung. Some nannies believe in fast food, not me. Only organic, homegrown compost for the tots. Being a nanny is a nine to five job for some, but for me it's 24 seven. So on the weekends, some families let me FaceTime in and make sure that their plants are doing okay and getting enough light and attention. It's like I'm not even there. Oh no! Baby, are you okay? As a nanny, I never leave my plants. I tend to them from germination to geriatrics. So my daycare actually transitions into an end of life care. It's actually really serene. <laughs> why, God, why?